comment in, in your... It was it was in there right from the beginning. Um, I mean, it's I'm I'm often asked, you know, why and to what degree do you include the supernatural in your novels? Um, and I was saying this earlier. In fact, I tend to think of the, the term supernatural horror can be a bit pejorative. It sounds like it's not real. And I what I like to try and include in novels, um, and I've, I've done this in short stories in the past, and increasingly doing it in novels now is as you say, sort of heightened reality rather than, rather than supernatural. Because I think, I think a lot of us believe in this stuff. A lot of, a lot of us do believe in, in hidden forces, malign spirits, and coincidence and superstition and that kind of thing. I, I don't think it's a big stretch for most people to include that within their worldview. And I, I, I often get a little bit, feel a little bit disappointed by books that don't include that element of human experience, because we all have it every day. And that's, that's why, for me, it's not a big reach to include that in a novel. And with this novel in particular, it was there right from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Right, and I think I mean one of the things that makes um, stories like this or the intruders work is that the characters behave exactly in very plausible ways that we would expect realistic human beings to behave mm -hmm. confronted by these kinds of supernatural, out of the ordinary situations. Well, I think I think there's, there's a strand of horror novels, to, to use the term, where basically it's like high fantasy, all bets are off, here's a weird thing that's happening, and people behave in very extraordinary ways, uh, and very unrealistic ways, and I, I don't think that makes for a very credible or enjoyable reading experience, because I think what pretty much everybody wants to get out of a novel is the sense of, of real people dealing with real things in a realistic way. People care about people uh, more than anything else, and they care about the stories, and they want them to be semi-credible. If, if you throw everything out the, the window and it's just some strange romp around a weird idea, then I think you lose the audience pretty quickly. And, and one of the things I'm primarily interested in, whatever I write, is real people and what they do, and what, what's going on inside their heads, how their characters are manifest in the way they deal with with the events within a book. So yeah, I do try to keep it very much to a credible level. Cool.